Chuck Moan will be alongside. Not only to mention that. Keith Haney is also in partnership and ownership of the Osage Casino Tulsa Raceway Park. Partners, yeah. With Todd there. So, I mean, they got... He's got his hands full in the business world. <laughs> They've got a bunch of stuff going on, and he's a great guy. And, he, of course, he's a, he's a coach as well. He coaches his kids in sports, you know, their intramural sports. 24-7, sometimes a job for Keith open. Haney. He's one of them guys. He's wide open all the time. You know, and uh, our final pair in Switzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous qualifying for round number one is going to come to the starting line. And then it is going to be time for NAS Racing Pro Extreme, the quickest and fastest cars on the property of the PDRA. Get ready to come out here in just a moment. Are most exciting and it's been a just a balls of the wall class all year long. It's right here in Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. So for Chuck Mon and Keith Haney, time to get the business done. Wheelie bars being set, nitrous being purged. It's a pretty standard program, folks. That's the way we do this. But we'll get the bars cranked down for Chuck. We're working on that one pretty diligently. That's a two-hand deal there. And we are ready to go. That's a very critical adjustment as well, so it has to be done right. So we're all ready. So Brandon Schweitzer on board with Keith Haney this weekend, watching things going down the racetrack and taking care of some business on the race car as well. I was over there earlier, and he was there hands-on. for Keith Haney's Chevrolet Camaro. He's going to go to number nine in the bottom half of the field. That puts him in. Trick Moan's going to go to number 15 at 416, 177. And now we have established a bump spot at Billy Harper, the Dodge Viper at comes Stevie Fast, one half of our up-and-coming match race later on this evening, Red race for big money, alongside is Keith Haney. I'll tell you what, Keith Haney is an amazing individual at 44 years of age, the owner of seven auto dealerships down in the Oklahoma area, right around Broken Arrow, Oklahoma to be exact. The rear Morrison power for Keith Haney, has recently set his personal ET record, his personal best in testing, and this car is running real good right now. So Rear Morrison, left, and Rear Morrison, right. TV Fast with Bill Schuler and Billy Stockland, the Killing Time Racing crew over there, getting ready and preparing for tonight's grudge race, third round. These guys will be the last pair to run. It'll be Stevie Jackson and Travis Harvey battling out for a bunch of money. Okay, Keith Haney, right-hand lane. This is rear Morrison power. Stevie Jackson, left-hand lane, rear Morrison power. Both these cars are fast. Uh, don't know exactly. One's, one's up there ready to go. Uh, Keith Haney's, I believe Steve, I believe Keith's in there combing his hair. That's, uh, he is uh, the owner of Tulsa Raceway Park. He's, uh, He's Cookie's boss during the week, so we'll just see. Uh, I know I know Cookie's pulling for him because he wants the boss man to do good so he can get paid. Three eighty-seven, one ninety-four. The speed for Keith Haney. So Stevie will remain number two. Keith number ten moves up one.
Robert Patrick and Keith Haney. Robert Patrick, the Purvis Ford 2014 Shelby Mustang for his family owned dealerships. Right hand side. And Keith Haney, the Broken Arrow Oklahoma Chevrolet Camaro. that you've got to get these tune-ups so crucial to have them go at 85 one or quicker. Patrick has been 86. Keith Haney's been 87. And uh, you roll up to the starting line. of the nitrous oxide and Robert Patrick Ford right Keith Haney has the Chevrolet Camaro left now's the time no hiccups needed here Miles an hour, Robert Patrick at 384. He will stay number 17 and not put the four to the show. But Keith Haney at 378.6 goes in the number five spot right there for the team out of Oklahoma. Hats off to the team and going down that left hand lane right there. They maneuver the racetrack flawlessly. So Haney getting ready to do his burnout. The Tulsa, Oklahoma based car dealer. Guy owns seven car dealerships and he is 43 years old. An amazing entrepreneur from Schweitzer Dynamics, AHR, Racing Junk, Larry Jeffers Race Cars. And of course, all the dealerships Suburban Chevrolet, Miami Buick GMC, Kingston of Akusi, somewhere in Oklahoma. Regional Hyundai and Green Country Fishy. Ron Menix coming to you from Stafford, Missouri, the 48 year old business owner. Riding high on Dave's Claremore RV, 68 Camaro. Dave Pierce, the owner there, Jeff Pierce, race car tuning on board. With Rear and Morrison power under the hood. So Rear and Morrison, left and right here now, all part of the Nitrous Ward we've been seeing here all year long, 2015, in the category. So Keith Haney in the top ball, alongside Ron Minix, ready to go. a little early went 385 197 a 386 with a 9 198 for Keith Haney no help he remains number six with the earlier 78 at 200 Phoenix number 10 still with the earlier 81 so while Derek naps I'll talk to you about Jason Harris your 2014 pro nitrous World champion from Drag 965. We call this car the Warbird. Yep, the Warbird. The, the Warbird. Mess that one up every time. I done mess it up every time. Don't worry. Another new. Help me, help me, help me. The Pittsburgh, North Carolina, Drag 965. Team over there in the right-hand lane for Jason. 
They're trying to find the tune-up. The Sonny Leonard 959 can make the power. It's just about going A to B and get it down to the ground. 381, the best time that Jason Harris has ran here at MDIR this weekend. Keith Haney had a phenomenal 378 yesterday at over 200 miles per hour. Figured out. Oh, oh man. Swipes are dynamic. Glad we could clear that up. For Keith Haney, Rude Morrison power under the hood. Sonny Leonard under the hood for Jason Harris. All right, Jason into the beam's right side. He's set. Keith Haney rolls in the flash of the green and out of the gap. Oh, Keith Haney's all over the starting line. Hold on, and Jason Harris grabs a round win. 386, 198, and Jason Harris is into the next round for your number 11 qualifier. That was a bit of an upset because Keith Haney was number six. When that Chevrolet Camaro on the left side left the starting line, it went hard to the right lane.